Today we interviewed Clear Co and founder and CEO Jay Singh on our Coin Monks Slack community. Below is chat transcript of that interview. Me, hey Jay, tell us about Clear Cohen. What is Clear Cohen? Jay, we're just in the middle of the token sale now. We have closed about $4 million with 20,000 registrations to the site. We have distributed ledger technology for quality checks on media and advertising. We've spent over 10 years working in the industry and we've watched the supply chain issues grow into a $16 to $20 billion problem. It's an issue that's ongoing. So the distributed ledger technology aims to create transparency in the media and ad supply chain. Me, can you explain the problem a little bit more, and how ClearCoin is trying to solve it? Jay, yes sure, so the digital part of the entire ad market has grown to about $80 billion while the fraud in that market has steadied at around $16 to $20 billion. That's estimated by Groupon which is one of the largest media buyers in the world. As we've heard from Fortune 500 and enterprise level advertisers they are still sensing a great deal of inaccuracy and bots negatively affecting their digital ad budgets. The block explorers and distributed ledgers for digital currencies help solve the double spending problem because the ledgers are tamper-proof and we can see which money went to which people. The block explorer and distributed ledger we're using for the ad market creates a tamper-proof record of where ad quality is high and where it is low. Me, can you explain what kind of ad fraud you are talking about? Jay, yes sure, so oftentimes there are bot farms created just to create revenue for the bot farm. In recent years, there was one bot farm that generated millions of dollars a day by using bots to watch video ads. Meaning there was no person seeing the video just the bot loading the video. So these types of issues have grown to about $16 to $20 billion per year. The way to track for bots and the quality of inventory is by using checks for human behaviors and bot behavior behind each impression. Behavior can include mouse movement, device ID, and dozens of other factors. Me, so how you are going to deploy your solution? Let's say I am a advertiser. How can you help me to get to increase my ROI in ads using Clico and J? Sure. So right now with the advertisers who are rolling out with this, we are running managed services ad campaigns with them. The minimum media buy for managed services is $50,000. We run their ads on programmatic campaigns where there are a number of ad formats available, display, social, video, etc. We then track for ad quality through behavior checks and display it for them on a distributed ledger. Neat, a community member, where does the blockchain tech will help, that cannot be solved by the normal centralized system. Jay, well as the digital part of the industry has grown the ad fraud issue has grown to $16 billion and after 10 years the major executives in the industry say the problem continues to grow and there hasn't been a complete solution just yet. So as we proposed a distributed ledger, blockchain, a number of those media agencies and buyers reached out to us and said they are interested in applying blockchain to their supply chain. So given it has been 10 years of a growing problem for that supply chain and it's now reaching $16 billion, so far from the media buyers and advertisers we've heard from they see this as a possible solution for them. Me, what is blockchain ad protocol, and proof of history ledger, mentioned in your white paper? J. Sure. Proof of work, we see as the description for a mineable currency. Proof of history, we see as a description for a distributed ledger that is tracking the history of something. In our case, it is the history of ad inventory and the quality of that inventory. The ad protocol intends to fit in with other standards created in the industry in the last several years. Ad industry standards change over time and a recent example is ad industry standards for viewability. Viewability standards were the way to check for how much an ad is seen on a particular page. The ad protocol we're working on would make it standard for media buyers to check for ad quality on a distributed ledger. Me, when you say, history of ad inventory and the quality of that inventory, what it means. J, sure. The quality of inventory is determined by dozens of human behavior checks and then the quality of the ad inventory is graded on a scale based on how authentic the inventory is determined to be. If there are objective risk factors with the inventory we will disclose that information to the advertiser. Me, what is objective risk factors with the inventory? Can you make it simple, because lot of us don't know the industry, so many terms are unknown to us. J, sure, an objective risk factor could be determined by checking to see if the same ad was being loaded for the same place and there was some automated mouse movement involved in the opening of that ad. 
For example, there was a bot farm that took millions of dollars of revenue from video advertisers and what it did was automatically open the same video over and over and each video view represented 5 cents to 10 cents of revenue. So with many millions of automated views the farm took millions of dollars. Me. Question by a community member. How is the protocol able to go around ad blocker and why should people use it? Are ad watches being given anything to choose a profit? Why should the old ad style be good for the future against all these new content creator reward systems from new social media like Steemit? J. So the protocol is being used by ad tech companies at the level of media buyers and ad technology companies. It doesn't really affect an end user in a way that would show in their browsing experience. It is not proposed that a user will be given anything. The technology works on the back end of the ad delivery systems. Similar to the last 10 years, a user usually is not compensated for digital ad engagement, except in cases like in-game rewards. I don't think Steemit is large enough of a platform to be compared against an $80 billion digital ad market. Me. Are you using it just stop check the quality of ads to get more money per view, or is there more than just a commercial use, and if there are good programmers able to create such bots? Why should it be impossible to create new bots with random mouse movement? J. The technology is to drive hundreds of millions of dollars of revenue for the company. That's the commercial application for us. There will be a solution because it's a $16 billion problem that has grown unchecked so eventually, the ethical side will prevail. Me. Can you tell us your roadmap? Where are you now and where are you going? J. We're working through the token sale right now. There's about $4 million raised so far. We are working with a number of advertisers and media buyers who are enterprise level and expressed interest in wanting supply chain improvements for what they are doing. We will continue to run those campaigns on managed services with a larger release of the platform for smaller buyers during the middle of the year. The public version of the Block Explorer is also slated for this year. We thanks, J. Singh, Clear Cohen. Now here's our community member too. Check out our latest interview about blockchain with Ryan Hickman, founder of Epic.ai here. We have an active community if you want to how we are building it check here. If you are investor, trader, developer or crypto enthusiast or just have a lot of questions about how heck crypto works, come join us on our Slack community here. Our crypto forum Coin Monks, and also check out our website which ranks crypto according to their development progress coin code cap. If you like this post, don't forget to like, share with your friends and colleagues and leave your comment below about the post. And, follow me to Deep Web.